Hi friends, Anne McKinnell here. So I am back with some more Star Trail photography. Uh, if you missed the first video in this series, I'll put a link in the description below. Uh, in that first video, we went out into the field and made all of our Star Trail photographs, brought them into Lightroom, edited them, exported them, and made these two Star Trail still images. So uh, one is a regular Star Trail image and the other one is the Comet Mode image. So today what we're going to do is take the exact same set of images that we already exported from Lightroom and we're going to make three different types of star time-lapse videos. One will be a regular time-lapse with the stars moving across the sky. The second will be the Star Trail time-lapse and the third will be the Comet Mode time-lapse. Okay, so let's get started. So there are a number of different ways that you can go about assembling a time-lapse video. Uh, you can simply bring all of your still images into a video editor, uh, like DaVinci Resolve, Adobe Premiere Pro, uh, even iMovie, and uh, set each clip to a certain duration and just run it through. Um, I'm going to show you the method that I find to be a lot easier. It's the easiest method for me and it's the way I do it. So that's what I'm going to show you today. And it's using an app that's called Time Lapse D Flickr. It's not a free app. It costs about $35 on the, um, the App Store or the Google Play Store. Uh, I think it's worth it. Um, I use it a lot if I actually have a time-lapse video taken during the day that I want to de-flicker, that's what this program's actually for. Um, at nighttime, I don't need to de-flicker, but it's still a really easy way to assemble a time-lapse, and so that's how I'm going to do it. So I've just opened this uh, program. It's TLDF Lite, and let's go ahead and start making our first time-lapse. I'm simply going to drag and drop my folder of Star Trail images onto the window here, and it is going to start processing them. All right, it just takes a minute to do that, and as soon as it's finished, I can go ahead and click the render button. And I'm not going to change anything in here, I am just going to click Start. Okay, it's finished. And that's all there is to it. You can see how uh, easy it is to use this app. So I'm going to click OK and then let's go watch our video. All right. All the stars going around Polaris, some clouds going by. That looks pretty cool. All right. Well, that's interesting. It's going to get a lot more interesting, though, when we do the versions with the, um, with the star trails. So let's try that next. All right, so that was great for creating a regular time lapse. But let's try and do something a little more interesting. Using star stacks again, we can create a video version of these star trail images. So let me show you how to do that. We're going to open Star Stacks again, and this process is almost exactly the same as when we made these still files. So I am going to bring in my um, original images, and they're in this folder here. I'm gonna drag and drop them all into Star Stacks. Okay, this is the same process that we followed before to make the still image. So I am going to pick uh, the Lighten Blend Mode. I am going to check this box right here, Cumulative Image Saving, Save After Each Step. So what this is going to do is create another whole set of still images, and one builds on 
the the next one. So for example, the the first image will be simply the first image. The second one will be a combination of the first and second. The f third is a combination of the first, second, and third, and so on. And once we have that entire set, we can make a video out of it. All right. So let's watch and see. I'm going to go save after each step. Uh, leave the image name the same and I'm going to select an output folder here and I am going to put them all into this folder here called Star Trail TL. Okay. And now I am just going to click the process button and get it started. And you can see it's going to run through all of these files and uh, and build this the same as it did the still but it's saving after each step so we can then combine all of these into a video all right so that is finished so now what i'm going to do is use this new app i talked about time lapse deflicker all right, so I'm just going to drag all of those new images that I just created. We'll get them here. I put them in Star Trail TL. So I'm going to drag that folder over. And you can see it's already building it here. Okay, and now I am simply going to go ahead and click the render button. And let's see where we're going to save this. I am going to put this in my movies folder. And I will pick a new folder here to do this. And I'm going to go star time lapse. And I'm going to output the video. And there's the size, uh, the frame rate is 30, and I haven't really changed anything here. These are the default settings. So I'm just going to click Start. All right, that's finished now. Click OK. And let's go and look at it. So let's see. I put that in movies. Star time lapse, and here it is. And let's watch it. Okay, that looks pretty cool. There's clouds going by. Nice. So that turned out to be 27 seconds long. All right. So now let's run through that exact same process. We'll do the whole thing over again, but this time we're going to do it in comment mode. So we're back in star stacks. We're going to run through the exact same uh, process again, except this time we're going to pick comment mode. We have long trails. We're going to go save after each step and we're going to put this into a folder. Let me just pick a new folder here. Star Comet Time Lapse Create. Okay, and then I'm going to pick the process button and we'll get this one started. That is finished. So once again, we're going to go into time lapse deflicker. I'm going to clear out what we did here before, and I'm going to drag the images that we just created in here, and we'll do this process again. So I'll go to my finder, uh, pick the star comet time lapse, and I'm going to bring this folder in here, and it is building it already. All right, it's finished thinking about it, so I'm going to click the Render button. And once again, we'll do the same thing. 
and let me see where am I going to put this one movies star comet time lapse and click start all right it's finished so let's go watch it uh, movies Okay. Ooh. Wow. I love this. This is my favorite thing to do with the star trails. Look at that. Very cool. Plane goes by. And then it kind of dimmed out there a bit at the end. Um, I think that what was happening was the moon came up towards the end of the video and so the stars all dimmed a little bit. But I can either leave that in or I can trim that out at the end of the video. All right. So are we done? No, not quite. I think I'm going to push this a little bit further. So what we can do, uh, you remember from the previous video when we made our still photographs, one thing that we did at the end was bring in that um, the still image that I made at twilight to bring in some of the foreground details. Well, we can do that in the video too. So let's try that. Uh, to do this, I am going to use Adobe Premiere Rush. Um, it's my new favorite video editor. If you subscribe to the uh, photography plan on the Adobe Cloud, the one that has um, Lightroom and Photoshop, you actually get this program for free. So you can do that, um, or it works in other programs too. I've done this in iMovie. All right, so you can do it in free video editors too. I'm going to go ahead and use Adobe Premiere Rush. So let me close this. Let me get rid of all of these things here. I'm finished with star stacks and I'm even going to close out of Lightroom so that we don't have that running and get all the my power from my computer. Uh, not now. All right, and I'm going to open Adobe Premiere Rush. I'm going to create a new project and I am going to bring in that uh, star comet time lapse that we just did. And I'll create my project. Okay, so this is the exact same thing that we just watched. I'm, all I've done is bring it into Adobe Premiere Rush. All right. So now what we need to do is go and get that foreground image that we can use. So let's go to Photoshop. We'll open up that uh, the file that we made where we blended in the foreground. Here it is. And what I want to do is get an image of this foreground uh, without any of the stars. We want the rest of it to be transparent so that we can put it on top of our video, okay? So I am going to uh, hide these layers that are the star layers. So all I have showing now is the foreground and the rest of the pixels are transparent. So all we need to do now is export this file and I'm going to export it as a PNG file so that it retains the transparent pixels. Okay, so I'm going to go File, Export, Save for Web, and I'm going to pick a PNG format and make sure this box is checked here to maintain the transparency and I am going to go save and I will put that into my star comet time lapse folder too and click save. 
All right, so here we are back in Adobe Premiere Rush, and I'm going to bring in that foreground image that we just made with the transparent background. So there it is, and I'm going to click Add. And now I drop that in at the end of my timeline, and what I want is for this image to be on top of it. So I'm just going to drag it up on top like this. And there you can see what that is going to look like. So now I want to extend this so that it covers the entirety of the movie. So I'm just going to drag that bar back over here until we're at the beginning. Like that. And now I think what I need to do here is, uh, you can see these edges here again, just like we had in the still photo. So I'm just going to drag this up a little bit. That looks good. And then I am going to uh, click the color button over here on the right. And I am going to um, just uh, reduce the exposure on this foreground image a limit little bit. Uh, I'm going to change the temperature, make it a little cooler, just so it looks like it fits in with the night background because the foreground was of course taken during twilight. So I'm just gonna play with this a little bit here and make it look a little bit more natural for a night image. Bring a little bit more exposure. All right, let's have a look at that. So I'm just going to play it. Well, that looks pretty cool. All right, well, I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. Um, I hope you guys learned a lot and enjoyed this video. I'm going to go and get some music now and put together the three different versions of the time lapse with the foreground and the music. So uh, stay tuned to enjoy that coming up right after this, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.